take smaller and smaller finishing passes and several spark out passes in order to get tight tolerances and good surface finish. But I'm having trouble getting the wheel to bite into the workpiece. It just rides over the top. We're using high pressure oil. What can we do? What you're experiencing is hydroplaning of your wheel over your workpiece. And this happens when you take really small depths of cut or spark out passes. You get a thin layer of oil between the grit and the workpiece and the grit doesn't bite into the workpiece, it just hydroplanes over. So you can take 100 spark out passes, but still not get that depth of cut that you're looking for because you're hydroplaning over your workpiece. So let's take an example. Let's say your normal depth of cut is 0.1 millimeter or 4 thou. You've got a wheel speed of 50 meters per second or 10,000 surface feet a minute. And you've got good coolant velocity and good pressure. You've got 10 bar pressure. You do your regular grinding. Then you want to do some finish grinding. Give, you, give yourself a better surface finish, better tolerances. So you drop that depth of cut to, let's say, 25 microns or a thou. Uh, keep your same 50 meter per second wheel speed. Keep your same coolant pressure and grind off finishing pass. Then we want to do a really fine finishing. So we take, let's say, a 5 micron depth of cut, or 2 tenths. If we keep the same wheel speed and the same coolant pressure, the grits are just going to tickle the workpiece. They're not going to bite into it. And if we have a layer of oil, or especially high viscosity oil, those grits are not going to bite into the workpiece. So there's a simple solution. Number one, drop your wheel speed. You drop your wheel speed, you increase your chip thickness, you increase your penetration depth, you increase your aggressiveness. Now those grits are going to bite into the workpiece. Yeah, typically if you drop your wheel speed, you get more wheel wear, but we're taking only a 5 micron depth of cut. It's a very non-aggressive grind with a low material removal rate, so we can deal with that. What we'll also do is drop our coolant pressure. Now remember, when we take very shallow cut grinding, we don't really get much benefit from the coolant anyway because of the short arc of cut. So here we just want to wet the surface of the wheel. We're not really that interested in cooling. We could probably even grind dry, but if we don't have high velocity, we don't have high pressure, we don't have a lot of coolant there, we're not going to get that hydroplaning effect. Then maybe for the spark out passes, we drop our wheel speed to 10 meters per second or 2,000 surface feet a minute. Now that may seem extremely low. You may think, oh, well, we'll chew up our wheel that way. Well, not really, because we're taking such a tiny, tiny depth of cut, because the spark out cut does take some depth of cut, that that slow wheel speed is really not going to hurt us, and it'll still bite into the workpiece. Keep our pressure down to 0.1 bar, or 1.5 PSI, just a trickle or if you even want to turn the coolant off, you can do that. Take that spark out pass, you won't get that hydroplaning, your grits will bite into the workpiece, and you'll be able to remove that last bit of material without the hydroplaning effect.